Hey guys, it's Eric. If you thought that Colaplast's large bag was big, wait till you get a load of this. Stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some new products by Colaplast. Now, I got an email from Colaplast, just like one of their generic marketing emails, um, talking about some new Sensor Amio high output bag. And I thought right away, I have to get samples of this because this is going to be huge. So I'm going to be showing you some of the new products that they do have. Now, keep in mind that depending on where you live, these products may not be available or may not be available yet. So uh, you may want to contact your local uh, Colaplast office and just ask them. But um, some of the stuff that I'm going to show you today will be very handy for people that have issues, especially at nighttime when their bag is filling up and they have to kind of get up in the middle of the night, maybe once or twice a night to empty. Uh, or if they have a very high output stoma during the day, these products are going to make a huge difference to them. So I'm going to start off by first showing you the Colaplast Sensor Amio. Now this is their large size bag. Now their large size bag holds approximately 655 milliliters of liquid. Now that's like top to bottom. You're not going to really get your pouch that full, but that is the stated capacity. Colaplast does have a size smaller than that called their MIDI, and that's their medium size. The MIDI has approximately 485 milliliter capacity. And for some people that have very uh, little output throughout the day, perhaps they have a colostomy, uh, MIDI bags are really great because they're nice and compact. They're easier to manage under your clothing and, and whatnot. But if you want to take it a step further than that and go with something larger, the previous option, and I would say it's still currently available option, is the Sensor Magnum. Now, the Sensor Magnum is designed to be used with the regular Sensor Click. Most people that are using the Mios, unfortunately, won't be able to use this appliance on there. But the Magnums had a lot of shortcomings. The filter, for example, was kind of the old style. There was no inspection window there. The fabric was their beige kind of classic fabric that uh, they've done away with in their sensor meal uh, appliances. And that's why this new high output bag, or I should say collection of bags, really has me impressed. So let me introduce those to you. Now these bags are so big that I even have a hard time fitting them here on the video, but bear with me as I uh, go through each one of these. So the first one that we have here it looks like a sensor meal bag. It is a sensor meal bag. Obviously, it's going to be much larger. Now, the capacity on this particular product is almost one liter, which is huge. This particular one is actually using uh, Colaplast's Flex system. So this is a two-piece appliance with an adhesive coupling. I personally don't like adhesive couplings, but I know a lot of people do. Uh, for a lot of people, it's more convenient than using a one-piece, and it's uh, definitely a lower profile than using a two-piece with a mechanical coupling. But that is one option that's available. The second option that I have here is a one-piece system. Now, the one-piece system has an absolutely monstrous wafer on the back. For some people, that might be an issue. That might be too big for smaller framed people. Uh, but the nice benefit to having a larger um, wafer like that is that it gives it more support. There's obviously a larger surface area that it's attaching to your skin with. And as your bag fills, especially in a high output situation, that's going to be uh, coming in handy for you because it's not going to tug as much or the weight won't feel as much because of that wider area. The next one is a two-piece system. Now, this is using their traditional sensor a click system. So it does have a locking mechanism there, and it does attach with a mechanical flange. Now, for a lot of people, this might be uh, their, the best choice for them, especially if they want to go between the regular sensor a meal two-piece, whether that be the medium or the large size, and then switch to this at night. Uh, it makes a perfect companion for that because you can just swap it out without having to remove your wafer. Now, all of these new systems here have around a liter capacity. Some of them have slightly more, some of them have slightly less. But you can see that it almost doubles in some cases some of the other appliances that are tagged large. So that might be a huge benefit for you. One thing I do want to note is that the outlet design here 
is uh, like a spigot. So it's not like a traditional outlet that you unroll and then, you know, drain and then close up with a Velcro or whatnot. This is actually a high output uh, type of drain. Now this can be closed using this stopper here. And it's actually quite convenient. It won't come off on its own. Even when your bag is super full, that's not going to just pop off like a cork. Uh, it does require some effort to remove, but once it's off, uh, it'll stay in place here, and then you can go ahead and, and drain. Now, this type of appliance is really suited more for people who have liquid output or very loose output. If you happen to have thicker ileostomy output or a colostomy, you're going to have a heck of a time getting that output through a drain like this. So I definitely wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, this style drain is very similar to what you'll find on the urostomy bags by Coloplast. So just as an example here, this is one of the urostomy bags uh, that Coloplast has. Uh, you'll notice here that the drain is very similar in design. It's much smaller than you'll see on the high output uh, appliance, but it works in a very similar fashion. Now there are other features to this pouch that make it more suited to urostomates, uh, but that's a totally different subject. Now, because this isn't a review, um, these products aren't really suited to my type of ostomy or my type of output. Uh, it's more of a general overview of these products. I wanted to introduce it because I know there are people who have or who are wearing the Sensor Amio and they want a bigger bag for nighttime. Uh, traditionally, if I were to suggest going with some kind of nighttime uh, product, I would go with uh, Coloplast's night drain bag, which has like a two liter capacity. But it's quite long. It's very cumbersome as far as an appliance goes. It's not something you could just wear in your abdomen. You'd actually have to connect it and then kind of leave it off to the side. And it's definitely not going to be older technology uh, like the uh, Magnum, which I would have previously recommended. There are a lot of features on here that people who are wearing Sensor Meal products will love you know, carries on from their smaller products. And someone who doesn't know about Sensor Amio will probably appreciate a lot of the features that this bag has, namely something like the inspection window or the large pre-filter that's in here, which should help to eliminate ballooning in some cases. But overall, I'm really glad to see that Coloplast has these products now available uh, to patients. I'm hoping to see other brands come out with similar products, not too many not too many companies have sizes larger than 12 inch, which is generally referred to as their large bag, but I'm hoping to see more of these coming out. I do know of a few other brands that have larger uh, high output products like this, and I may cover that in a separate video, just giving an overview of various high output products. Let me know if you guys want to see that, but I hope this video has been informative. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.